In this video, we're going to be looking at the GrowWatt 3000 LVM24P. This is a 3000 watt inverter. It does 6000 watt of surge for about 5 seconds, and the inverter is 90% efficient. It has a solar MPPT solar charge controller. It'll do 2000 watts, it is 98% efficient, and it'll do 80 amps of charging. It also has a built in AC charger which does 60 amps at 24 volts. You can combine the solar and the AC charging for a whopping 120 amps of charging. This unit, you can do it as a standalone unit for 120 volts, or you can buy two of them and put them in series, and you can run 240 volts. So this unit, I've taken off the cover plate. It just sits up in the front here, and this reveals all your connections. I just have this set up temporarily, so this is my battery connection. This is the PV input, and I just have some MC4 connectors here. And then I have my AC output, which I have this power bar and this plug here connected together in. And I know how many amps I'm gonna be using to test this, so I'm not too worried right now. But when I do hook this up permanently, I'm gonna have it in a square D uh, panel box, sub panel, with the proper breakers and sizing and everything. And then for my AC input, I have a twist lock 30 amp plug here. Now we're gonna be hooking this up to my generator for a little while, just so I can burn some of the old gas out and then use the energy to charge my battery. This also has a dry connection that you can hook up your generator if you have a dry connection port for automatic startup and shutoff. Once the batteries get to a predetermined low voltage, your generator will fire up, charge it up to a predetermined charging capacity and then shut your generator down if need be, if the solar is not good enough, if you've got a couple weeks of no sun. So the way I'm gonna be hooking up my solar panels when I do get to it in the summertime, once the weather uh, warms up, is I have six 310 watt solar panels. Now the open voltage is 40.2 on each. So I'm gonna be running these in series of three and then in a parallel of two. So I'll have all of my 40s, I'll have 120.6 volt open circuit, and then these will be 120.6 open voltage for amps of 9.82 amps. And then once I combine them in my combiner box, put them in parallel, I'll have 120 volts open circuit and 19.64 amps after paralleling them. So I'll have a 3S, 2P configuration this unit has a max open voltage of 145 volts. So you do not want to exceed that. That should give me somewhere in the range of 1,800 watts of solar power. The battery I'm gonna be using, I've already done a video on my toolbox lithium iron phosphate build. It has a built-in charge capacitor and a uh, main on off switch as well as a fuse in there. Uh, check out my video on this to see how I built it, put it together. So basically we'll plug in the battery, uh, go out, turn the generator on, and we'll charge up the batteries and we'll come back once that's done. Now I also, I'm just gonna run the generator for maybe half an hour and then I'm just gonna switch to AC, utility charging. Um, that should be enough of the old gas out and I could refill it with some new. So the way I plug it is I've installed an Anderson connector, plug it in, and then I hit my pre-charger button here uh, this is just pre-charging the capacitors inside the unit um, with lithium iron phosphate, very low resistance value. Therefore, if you don't pre-charge your capacitors, the you know, surge power going in here could destroy the unit. So you want to be careful when using lithium iron phosphate. You can also use uh, lead acid or flooded or uh, whatever type of 12 volt battery and put them in series. Uh, just make sure you uh, educate yourself on lithium before you go to use it and then let the unit fire up. And uh, I'll go out and hook up the generator to my 30 amp twist lock plug, and then we'll charge up the batteries. Just before I plug in the charging is I'm using this in standby mode basically, which is utility first, because when I do hook this up in the summertime, it's gonna be hooked up to solar, and I should never have to plug it in to utility, but in the event that I do have to hook up my generator, as soon as I plug the power in, it's gonna automatically switch over, run everything off a of utility and charge the batteries. 
And then once I have a sufficient charge, I can just unplug it and leave it for the sun to charge up the batteries. I should never run into that issue, but just in case. So for the plug-in, I've just got my 30 amp twist lock to adapter. It's now on the other end of my generator. Um, I have this style plug here. Uh, this is just your regular standard uh, camping plug-in, 30 amp. Okay, you can see it's uh, switched over to utility. So now it's gonna make the connection. There goes the transfer switch. So charging should start shortly. And we can check it out here, as well as I'll bring up the app. So we're up to five amps. Ten amps. Twenty amps. And you can hear the fan starting to pick up as the charging increases. Thirty amps. Forty amps. We got 50, 56. Okay, we got 56 amps. It will go to the 60 depending on how depleted your batteries are. Uh, these batteries are about half charged, so I'm not getting the full 60, but it will do the 60. I have done it before. It's just my batteries aren't low enough to hit it. So I'm gonna let my batteries charge up to full and then we'll hook up some loads and we'll see how it does for the inverting. Okay, while that's charging, that'll give me a chance to test my new little gadget here. And I can check for any hot spots on my lithium batteries. So the hottest spot I've seen is where the main disconnect is. It's right there. So I'm seeing about 28.3, 29. So that's pretty good. Uh, BMS is uh, staying nice and cool. All the wiring. The buzz bars staying relatively cool. Uh, the fuse over here. So 31 degrees. I'll have to check this again too once I start to do my uh, discharge. That's not too bad. Now to demonstrate the power of this grow watt, I have two 1500 watt space heaters here. So that's 3000 watt. That's gonna be the total amount that this can push. Uh, we'll turn it on and see how long it can go for. Okay, I've got a stopwatch here. Let's turn it on and get some power going. That space heater's a little bit noisy. I gotta replace it. See how many amps we're pushing. So 123 amps right now. 125. 126. 126. Almost 130 amps right now coming out. Let's see if this can run for five minutes. Okay, so I'm actually pushing over 3,000 watts. I'm pushing above what it's rated for right now. I actually want to turn this down. So I'm at three minutes and I was pushing over 3,000 watts. That's incredible. Okay, so right now I'm pushing about 2,860 watts through the inverter. I just did over 3,000 for about three minutes. Okay, we're at five minutes. Wow, okay, we went five minutes at just under 3,000 watts. And for three minutes of that test, 
I was at about 3,500 watts and it didn't chirp, it didn't alarm, it didn't do nothing. That's amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna do another test. I'm gonna see if my uh, 15 amp miter saw DeWalt 10 inch can cut off of the inverter. Now I'm just gonna do one pass through here because I'm cutting in the shop and I don't want dust getting up into the inverter. Uh, I would normally have this separate, but I wanna get it on camera. So let's see if it'll cut. And there we go, it cut. Testing of the GrowWatt 3000 watt inverter. Now I know I haven't touched on a few of the features that this thing can do, but it is amazing. Next video I'm gonna do on this is I'm gonna show you how to hook up the Wi-Fi dongle. Uh, there's some certain configuration parameters that you have to put in in order for this to connect to Wi-Fi. You can also remotely change the settings on your GrowWatt inverter through the Wi-Fi but I'll have to do a detailed video on that. Uh, one key thing, if you ever figure it out, don't ever do a factory wipe through the Wi-Fi because you'll just wipe the memory on the stick and it won't work again. This is my second stick. Also, I'm gonna do videos on my entire hookup with my solar and everything else. So in anticipation of that, I'm gonna do a combiner box build for the solar inputs. This is gonna be my combiner box. I'm gonna wire it all up myself and I'll do a video on that. I purchased this unit with my own money. I got it from a website called watts247.com. Uh, they're a great website. They sell batteries, they sell other all-in-one inverters, and they sell a bunch of great things, so check them out. I'm gonna set up an affiliate program, so if you do purchase one of these through the link down below, then I may get a small commission. Um, I'm hoping in the future, moving on down the road, I wanna get some of the MPP 48 volt 6k inverter i want to pair of them so that i can do 240 split phase output but again we'll see how money goes in the future and uh hopefully i'll do a video on that all right thanks for watching bye